What's up, guys? It's Wacko welcoming you to week 9 of SDS Season 7. Uh, sorry if you can hear this background noise. It's just my computer, probably because I have OBS open. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to record um, week 9, even with the stupid sound. Uh, hopefully you, you can't even hear it. I also have a fly in the room that is, like, killing itself in a fire or something. I don't know. Um, but anyways, we got four games to watch because literally every other game was either not scheduled or forfeit loss. Um, so, pretty disappointing, but at least we got four games to watch. First up, we got Fletch versus Ryan. Um, at least I think it was this week. Yeah, I think I remember them playing early. So we got uh, an Amherst Therian... Terra Flygon, Cobalion, Lycanroc Dusk, Darmantan, and Feraligator versus Terra Ambipom, Alkazam, Electros, Nidoqueen, uh, Hisuian Braviary, and Infernape. Um, I'm kind of seeing a matchup where, like, Agility and Amorous can kind of just win. Although, it needs some chip on, like, Nidoqueen. I don't know, I guess you need chip on, like, a lot of his mons in order to, like, actually win. But it can take a hit and get up an agility, or it can, like, Calm Mind, Draining Kiss. I actually think Calm Mind is probably better in this matchup, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Um, hold on. We're seeing... Terra Steel Flygon... And Terra Ground Ambipom. Okay. Turn with Infernape into Eel. Toxic for Alligator. With Rindo. What? What's the Rindo Berry for? I don't know. See, Stealth Threat on Cabellion and T Wave. Esper Wing. That doesn't really do that much. I th kind of thought it'd do a lot more. Kill? Nope, it's gonna live on one. I think. I'm gonna see an Iron Head flinch. Nope. I'm gonna see Roost come out. And another Esper Wing. Amorous is going to Moonblast the Eel. That did a lot. That's because you're running lefties. That's kind of stupid. Salt Vest is better. Anyways. Gator's going to come on in. Ambipom. That thing gets Axel now? I don't remember it actually being in Gen 9. Either way, it's going to die... Fairly Gator kind of tanked. I guess it was probably Defensive Gator if it had a uh, Toxic. Flygon's gonna come in. Fernape did kind of a lot. I'm not sure if that's like Banded in Fernape or something. Flare Butch is gonna kill. Uh, Infernape, interesting. Why did you U turn? Yeah. You should have just went into Zam in the first place. Like, you kind of just sack Needle Queen for no reason. Anyways, Enamorous is going to do kind of a lot. I think Alakazam is, like, pretty specially defensive. Um, is Inferno going to kill this? Raging Fury. Okay, I think Lycanroc. Lycanroc should just be able to take the hit. Oh, is it Scarf? I think the, uh, I think Infernape was Scarf, but either way, Fletch is just going to win that. I don't really have too much to say. I didn't really see, like, any, there wasn't, like, anything cool. It was just kind of a back and forth game. Next up, we got Chalk versus Joey. Uh, Joey's got Ogre Pond, uh, Iron Treads, Porygon 2, Blastoise, Hoopa Unbound, and Terra Gudra. Chalk is bringing the Terra Inteleon, Scissor, Ursaluna, Sinistra, Sigilyph, and Raging Bolt. 
Um, I'm not sure. Does Raging Bolt get coverage for uh, treads? I don't know. I actually, out of all the Paradox Mon, Raging Bolt, I think, is the one that I understand the least about. Uh, like, I know I get, like, this Thunderclap move, but overall, I don't know if it really gets, like, coverage other than, like, it's stabs. So I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, either way... <sighs> Seeing a matchup where if Ursaluna can come in on Treads or Porygon for free, then it pretty much just gets a free kill. Uh, especially versus Joey, it looks like he didn't bring anything that's levitating, so he can kind of just spam Earthquake. Uh, unless the Terras are... Uh, no, it's just Terra, Goose... Terra Ghost Gudra. I guess it stops Facade, but like, it's not stopping Earthquake. If I were Joey, I might have brought like Terra Flying Gudra. Actually, I don't know, because Raging Bolt's there, but whatever. Uh, and we're seeing Terra Electric and Teleon as well. Gudra's getting an Acid Armor and a Scissor. It's really s funny to me that the Scissor is slower than Gudra. I don't know, every time I see Gudra, I just imagine it being like kind of slow. But that's just not the case. We're going to see uh, Weakness Policy on the Sigilith. He's also going to Cosmic Power again. And Hyperspace Fear. That doesn't actually kill. Uh, but he roosted. That was not a good idea. Yeah. I don't know if I would have brought that Sigil of Set versus the Hoopa Unbound personally, but I don't know. See, Porygon, Ursaluna gets a free switch in. Oh, it's Trailblaze. Are we going to see, like, Drain Punch too, maybe? Yeah. That did half to Blastoise. Wow. Trailblaze, probably going to knock it out. Yep. Nice. Okay, Hoop Unbound comes in now. It's going to endure. Oh, are we, like, Custap? Oh, no, we're Salakberry. I thought this was Scarf Hoopa. Was this Sigilyph just slow? I guess it probably was. It's probably very defensive Sigilyph. Yeah, that makes sense. There's Luna still faster. Yeah, Ursuna, I mean, uh, plus one outspeeds Urshifu. Uh, I, I ran like a double bear team. That was like last year already. It doesn't feel like that long ago, but uh, yeah. A lot of people will prep for like Urshifu speed and then Ursuna will like outspeed stuff. After plus one, I think that's kind of cool. A plus two, I'm not really sure. Um, looks like Gudra just lives the hit though. I'm kind of surprised of all all the things that Gudra lived. But yeah. Are we going to see... Uh, facade? Okay. I don't know if I would have drain punch there and like hope for the best. I guess it wouldn't have killed. So you might as well... Like, either you get Ogre Pond to like half or like a below half probably. Because Ogre Pond's not like super physically tanky. Or you uh, kill it. And get the free switch in. I think, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, I think Inteleon's pretty free. You just kind of, uh... Oh, your sub... Sub-focus energy. Okay. I think if I were Porygon 2 versus Inteleon, I would've just... You know... Surf? Isn't Snipe Shot better? I guess if you're gonna crit... Oh! You know, I think it's probably a scope lens. Because I think scope lens plus focus energy is like guaranteed crit. I think. Or like sniper. No, sniper is just like adaptability for crits, isn't it? I can't remember. I think that's how it works. Yeah, we're going to see crit again. I don't know exactly how that works. I think it was guaranteed critical hit. Uh, we didn't even see Sinistra or Raging Bolt. Yeah, good games to them. 
I'm glad to see Inteleon do some work. I'm also glad to see Ursaluna do some work. Ursaluna is a fucking broken ass mon. I don't know why it's so underrated still. Like, I think Ursaluna should still be like around one pick, but I don't know. That's just me. Anyways, we're going to see the Danley versus Shandy next. Um, we got the Annihilate, Terra Vikavolt, Drantha, Monkey Dory, Swampert, and Yaskrata versus Swellow, Bramblegast, Cleaver, Yuxi, Archaladon, and Crocodile. I kind of forgot that Shandy had a Crocodile because I feel like he hasn't used it, but whatever. Um, no Terra Palmot. I feel like Palmot could do anything in like any matchup, but I I don't know. I guess not. We're gonna see. I think. Okay, it's Terra Ground Vikavolt. And Shandy just didn't bring Palmont, so it doesn't really matter. Monkey Dory is going to U-turn on the Cleaver, going to Swampert. Doesn't Cleaver... Oh, shit. Oh, we see Salak Berry. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that Cleaver is just Scarf. Everyone Scarf's Cleaver. It's kind of stupid, but whatever. Right, we're going to U-turn. I think this is Scarf Annihilate, maybe. Scarf Annihilate is pretty broken, to be honest. Uh, unfortunate for Meowscrata. It's gonna knock off the lefties, though. Vikavolt. I guess uh, Vikavolt being Terra Ground is probably good for the Archaladon. Draco Meteor. Yeah, he's just gonna get the damage and Terra Blast. If the Vikavolt had, like, Agility, I think I probably would have clipped Agility, but I'm not sure. Is Bug Buzz... Does Wind Rider... No, Bug Buzz is a sound move, not a wind move, I don't think. Pounce. That bitch gets Pounce? Pounce is, uh... Does it lower your speed, or does it lower your attack? I don't know, I guess we'll probably find out. Yuxi comes in on the Monkey Dory U-turn. I think Monkey Dory has, like, base 50-something attack, so it's not gonna kill. I'm pretty sure it's Scarf Annihilate, too. Monkey Dory is going to come in on Crook. Land the Focus Blast. Scale Shot. <laughs> He's going to miss. Okay, so Scarf Monkey Dory. Okay, I was going to say, if he goes into Annihilate. Oh. Yeah, it was Choice Scarf. Ape. But Crook would be faster, obviously. I kind of forget that Annihilate is a bit slower, but... Whatever. Drampa's gonna come in. Hyper Voice gonna kill. And I'm assuming Cleaver is just gonna kill. Oh, it doesn't actually kill. Draco Meteor, the Bramble Ghast. And then Cleaver is gonna have to lock. I think Cleaver just wins though. Aerial Ace. Okay, yeah. Aerial Ace is gonna steal the deal. I think Vikavolt's 21. Yeah, that should. gonna die. Yeah, that was a pretty close game. Honestly, if he kept just like one of his mons like a little bit healthier, Dan probably would have won. But yeah, we're just going to see the Scarf Cleaver clean. And yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, we're at next is going to be Jaden versus Steven. We have the Skunk Tank in the first slot. Landris, Celestila... I almost said Aurorus. Um, fucking Aromatis. Iron Jug and Tauros Blaze. Oh, and it's Terra Jug, I believe. Versus Rotom Heat, Landris, Therian, uh, Roaring Moon and Polion, Terra Shaman and Terrapagos. Uh, I feel like Steven brings like the same six mons every game. This is like the same six he brought versus me, minus Terrapagos, but whatever. Um, I'm hoping to see Skuntank do something. What would Skuntank be for? Shaman? Maybe it's just there to, like, get Toxics on stuff, because Trapagos doesn't really like status, but sometimes it runs rest anyways. Uh, we see the Terra Dark Jugulus. I guess he just wants to spam Dark Pulse, maybe. 
I might have went like Terra Fairy Jug. Or actually, I think Terra Fighting would be better. I think Terra Fighting Jug would have been really good in this matchup. Uh, and then we're going to see the Terra Electric Shaman. Yeah. I don't think anyone has used Stellar Terra. Which I think is fair. I think Stellar Terra is like kind of hit or miss. Speaking of missing. Let's see. I'm going to tear Dark Focus Blast. He's going to get the drop. But yeah, I'm just going to flip turn out. Doesn't Jug... Jug doesn't get Ice Beam, I don't think. Let's see, the U-turn. It's Rotom Heat. Usually versus Rotom Heat, you can kind of bait it with Cell Steel, and you could run, like, a Totemized Meteor Beam or something like that, or, like, Totemized Weakness Policy, even. With, like, a bulky-ish set. And kind of go ham from there. Dark Pulse is going to do 50... I guess this Landers might be, like, specially defensive. I feel like Jug should be doing a lot more damage than that. T-Bill did nothing. Wow. See the Rock Slide. And then Overheat. Is it... That's really sad to me that Overheat did more to a resist than a super effective move did to a weakness. Like, 28 to Cell Steel. I, I don't know what's going on. The Cell Steel is probably, like, especially defensive, if I had to guess. We almost had Lando versus Lando there. Cell Steel is good for me. Smackdown. Yeah, you don't want to run Gravity. Air Shift. Trap a ghost, heavy slam. You're just gonna set up rocks, I guess. People. What the fuck, Steven? How are you just like getting fucking T bolt paras? That's so stupid. Or Matisse. Uh, does Rumatis? Oh shit! That did a lot. I feel like I would have stayed in and like Seed Flared. I think Seed Flare would have killed. But he's gonna let a Rumatis get healthy, and I guess maybe the Employment doesn't have a steal. No, it doesn't have a steal move. He's gonna roost. Ah, uh, Steven, why did you let Sil steal a heal? I feel like you both are, like, not playing very good. Seed Flare, Cell Steel, uh... I think Shaman can run Terra Blast. Is it... Steela? No, it's Assault Vest. It got knocked off. Well, either way, it lived long enough to get the, uh... The boost. Ice Beam. Rotomatisse just kind of sits there. Uh, what is the Rotom Heat at? Oh, Rotom Heat is at 5%. Considering the Rotomatisse, like, kind of almost dying to a Dazzling Gleam, I feel like it's probably physically defensive. I'm not sure. Uh, but Jaden's kind of playing with fire. I'm not sure exactly if he wants to be spamming Moonblast versus Empoleon, but it probably doesn't really matter, because Empoleon's not doing that much damage, but I guess he's risking Freeze. Yep, there it is. I figured that was going to happen. Now, does Aromatis unthaw? I'm gonna unthaw. No. Oh, he thawed. Does this thing have protect? Yeah. This game is really boring. 
Yeah, we're just gonna see Wish Protect while Landers gets more health back. Pretty boring. He's just gonna smack down. You have to Wish Protect again. Really boring shit. If I were Jaden, I, I would have clicked Wish and then like click Moonblast maybe. Is he gonna? He's gonna Moonblast again. Okay. How much Wish PP does he have? He has nine Wish PP still. Eight. Protect. This game's so boring. Protect. I mean, couldn't you just go into Empoleon? Like, the only the only thing Aromatis can do is spam Moonblast versus you. Ah, oh, he missed Overheat. Lol. Would Overheat have killed? It might have. Oh, yeah. That Overheat did a lot. If I were him, I think I would have just tried plotting. Because he's just spamming the Wish Protect. I think I would have plot on, like, the Protect or the Wish. And then clicked Overheat. Or spammed Overheat. I guess it's kind of hard to see that in the moment, though. Oh, yeah, they almost used a T-Bolt. Yeah. I guess the Aromatis probably just wins... I don't know, this game's so boring. He has three more wishes left. Lando has five more earthquakes. Do you just moonblast here? No, you wish. Okay. Okay, I think if I were Jaden, I think I just click moonblast twice. No, you want the Aromatis around for, uh, Roaring Moon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You're an idiot. Unless Lando can live a hit. Adrenaline Orb, Focus Blast. Doesn't kill. Sucks to suck. Oh, we live. Okay, how Empoleon, I'm assuming Empoleon doesn't flinch. Yep. Yeah, Jaden had to play with the flinch. I think he just played too passively with Aromatisse. I don't know. I guess I really don't know what else he could have done. That was a really boring game though. But uh, at least it makes my video longer, so it takes my computer longer to process it. Um, yeah, that's just, that's week nine. Um, was there like anything cool? I don't think there was any fucking cool shit this week. Like Pounce of Bramble Gas could have been something. I've seen Scale Shot Crypt before. A lot of the cool stuff just like didn't work. Like I saw Endure Hoopa, I saw Salak, Swampert. Maybe Inteleon, I think Inteleon probably gets it this week. Maybe Ursaluna. I kind of want to give it to Ursaluna, but I like Inteleon as well. And I don't think there was anything cool here either. Ryan runs Trailblaze and Palm every fucking week. So, yeah, that's it for the main season. Hopefully playoffs will uh, be something that isn't 
forfeit lost forfeit lost into finals yeah and i who made playoffs let me see i kind of forgot who made playoffs already okay so playoffs is going to be me versus chalk voids versus ryan steven versus fletch and Jaden versus shandy uh our kill leaders is still auroras even though i didn't play this week um i would think i was planning on bringing auroras but madroxa couldn't play um unfortunately uh we s standings are uh auroras well for pokemon auroras has 15 kills uh, Vikavolt with 14, Jug, and Th Iron Thorns with 12, Metagross, Meowth, and Ogre Pond, uh, Hearth Flame with 11, Entei got 10, Cleaver got 9, or Cleaver, Roaring Moon, Flygon, and Iron Boulder got 9, Ursaluna, Palma, and Landers got 8, and that's all I have for the, that's just the top 15, I guess. Uh, and then how are how are standings? Was playoffs close? No, you had to have a 5-4 to win. Uh, otherwise, uh, Danley was really close to playoffs. He literally just had to win like one more game and he would have had like... He would have had 6 seed if he won an extra game. Because 4-5 uh, with a plus 6 differential is pretty, pretty good. Um... And then our worst differentials were just the people that didn't play. Uh, otherwise, it was pretty close this season uh, with everyone. Like, playoffs weren't really determined until, like, the last... Like, the last game. Because I, I think it was, like, the Dan Lee almost made it. I think Zelda almost made it. Joey, did Joey win? No, Joey didn't win. I think Joey was pretty close. Fucking, uh... And then the ones that did make it were Fletch, Ryan, and Chalk. Um, we saw most of their games this week. We didn't get to see Voids or me play, and we were top two seeds. I think we were just... I think we were just given forfeit wins. Which kind of, so it kind of sucks, but I think uh, either way, actually, I think Voids, if I had gotten 6 0 by like Madroxa, I could have gotten second seed. I guess you guys, you guys can't really see like what I'm looking at, but yeah, it's in announcements anyways, so you can see it, um, but yeah. We're going to get ready for playoffs next week. And hopefully that runs well. And to be honest, I'm kind of glad that the season's almost over. <laughs> um, thanks to everyone as well for... Well, those of you that have actually been like scheduling and playing, I deeply appreciate that. Um, and this just those who tried. I know some people got busy, but... It still kind of uh, hurts a bit that people just didn't give a shit this season. And even those, like, I think Zor dropped, like, week four or five. And, like, that was fine. You can drop, but just don't, like, do nothing. If you're gonna, if you're not gonna play, just tell me. And you don't have to make people prep for your shit if you're not planning on playing. That's all I gotta say. So, yeah, sorry to go off on a bit of a tangent. I'm gonna end the video before my computer blows up. Because it's about to blow up again. I don't know why. And yeah, thank you.